Hi, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. How are you guys doing? Okay, so I am bringing you a couple of more custom uh, cards that I'm working on or I've made for a client who would like to have a bar mitzvah card um, for a uh, the daughter of a really good friend of hers. And um, I've never made a um, bar mitzvah card before. It's, uh, it was kind of intimidating. I sat on it for about a week. She gave me about a week to work on it. And I waited until the last possible moment before I actually um, did it. So um, basically the only information she, um, she, I asked for a photo of the, the girl. She's pretty spunky. Um, and her invitation was silver and gold, um, like the theme of her party is going to be glitzy glam and she's a gymnast. She loved gymnastics. So with that in mind, I decided I went through all of my dye stash and I really thought that this dye, which is from Anna Griffin, is called Shutter Card Dyes in the Drapery Style. And it's a it's a pretty new um, dyes that I got recently. I was on an auto ship for it from HSN. And um, Anna Griffin still have it on her website if you like it. It's called Shutter Card Dye Drapery, okay? So it comes with a really nice instruction, um, but I've never made it before because I got it only like about maybe about a month ago. So it came with all these dies. It's really a nice big set and so on. That's the cut out the base of the die. And then that cut out the belly band that cuts out the uh, embellishment. And then this cut out the middle part that is part of the shutter. So, I mean, of the um, this part here. So I'll show you in a second. So it gives you the instruction, but the part that was really hard for me was um, you know, by looking at these pictures, it, it wasn't, it was, so the base card, you really should do it in a double-sided cardstock because otherwise it will get super thick. Um, and so I had a hard time with that because you have to make sure the front and the back of the cardstock is nice. I decided to go with a silver and, and, um, silver and black, um, uh, color scheme because I found a um, in my stash I actually just got it not too long ago um, as well um, this um, this uh, sticker sheet because I didn't have much about gymnastics at all the sticker sheet set that was um, gold and I mean silver and pink and um, from I got it from Hobby Lobby a little while ago so anyway I decided to do that because the black um, glitter and stuff like that is going to really pump up the glam and so that was what I started with that was my inspiration so this is what I I did I picked a piece of paper that was kind of a, a very um, tone on tone sort of floral but not you know femininely floral it got some cute you know just kind of like I, I don't know it was very pretty and then this side was like that Okay, and that was the, the best I could do. I looked at some Halloween paper one that I had and stuff. I didn't have too many paper that was double-sided. Actually, I didn't even look at any of the paper pad. I just chose to stay with the Anna Griffin paper. Um, so that's what I started with. And then I found this, which I picked up. Um, I don't know where I picked it up from, but it's a core coordination American craft paper. I think I picked it up from Joanne a little while ago when they had their 25 cents sailed and it's really pretty it's black on the on one side and then the other side is kind of like a, a kind of a silverish holographic glitter and it doesn't it doesn't really come off it's not uh, super chunky or anything very easy to cut and um i also uh picked i mean i didn't pick up but i found my stash did heidi swap glitter um paper pad that I got from Tuesday morning a while back and it had a really pretty silvery um, glitter stock. Now I, I was a little bit concerned about this this um, style of glitter of paper because it looked very similar to the Park Lane one, the Joanne one, um, where it didn't really cut well and I actually had wanted to 
you know, use it for maybe the um, the the Valens die, which is very very detailed. So um, it was remain to be seen when I was you know starting with the whole thing. So anyway, so this that's so I cut that. So here's what um, became of it. So in the so I decided to have the outside to be this side of the paper, and then. The back side is going to be on the inside, and this was the the sticker that was on um, that was from the from the system. It actually it actually was um, was she was doing a flip on the balance beam. That was the balance beam, but I cut her off of there and I just put her upside down so like she's doing you know kind of like a flip over. Instead, I didn't want her to be from the floor up. And this is a shadow die, so you see how it's sort of like, you know, she's being revealed to the world like a bar mitzvah, but also very theatrical in terms of, you know, she's performing. And I just took, um, I did take the, the, the paper from the Heidi Swap glitter paper. And the only reason, uh, the only way you can cut these, this is just to, to, um, to give you an idea. The only re the only way you can cut these super thin, um, glitter paper is if you backed it, cut it at the same time with a regular cardstock. Okay, so the Heidi Swap paper, glitter paper cut beautifully. That was not a problem at all. Um, so I cut one of those out, and so the 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 valens, the part, the I don't know what you call the valens, but the, this part, this part of the die, I cut it out of that black glitter paper. And then um, I cut out two pieces of the side panel that, are, that use it to do the shutter from the, onto the glitter paper. And then I use the black one again for that real pretty, um, you know, drapery thingy. Um, this was also from the, from the sticker set. And so I used that. This was from the sticker set. I decorated this part using, I was gonna cut it out some flourish in the glitter, but I, I thought it was just too much. And so I found these from my stash, which is a, a swatch book of rub-ons. God, it was so old and I've never really used it. It was not cheap. It was from Creative um, Imagination. So I had three of these, so I used two of them and the rub-on still works quite well, although it was a little harder to, to get get off um so I'm, i gotta make a point to use those like soon and then i i did a couple of just to match these these were on there so i put these and i had some rhinestone from kaiser scrapbook again very old for my stash from there to use here in the middle of the of the um of the rub on and then these flowers i had them also in my stash from a um from me and my big ideas that came you know it actually came yellow orange and pink i use up all the pink already so i kind of consolidate these over and then the heart was just from a tattoo <laughs> so weird again from my stash uh, luckily i just reorganized all my bling so it wasn't too bad I had two sheets of these that was from Jewel Tattoo. I only used a couple things from them before, but this heart was um, from the, the other sheet I used right here. Okay, so I hope that was clear. It was, I you know, originally I didn't want to have so much there, but then it looks a little bit not glitzy enough, and she's a teenager, so hopefully she'll love that. Um, the paper was so sort of plan so plan 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 so i decided um once i i had it cut out and stuff is actually add just with my pen gel pen just to do the the border in the in black pen just to make it look a little nicer i did the same thing for the back since there's no place to put sentiment in the inside i actually did the box outside along with my handmade stuff so that way the um my client can add her sentiment back here for her. And then this also is a from the um, sticker sheet and so on. So it says she's a perfect 10. Okay, so that's the whole part of it. Now the belly band, I cut out the belly band from the um, glitter, black glitter stock again. And then I also cut out a circle that's um, using my... Um, 
circle die that cuts out like three and a half a circle, maybe a little bit smaller because I wanted originally, I just had this, um, this uh, rosette that I got from Anna Griffin back then. It's for the Christmas collections, but it's the only silver one I have and it doesn't matter. It just show greenery. So, but it didn't, it didn't look, it was just, you know, sort of a little bit too bland in with this background behind it so, and where this is was fine but where over here it was just too bland in so i backed it with that circle to make it look like that then i added these couple of oh i added these couple of little swirly from a set sticker set that i got from Hob hobby lobby also i got a set in gold and a set in silver and they're these and so I just had them sticking out on the side. This cute little uh, sequin bow is actually from a, a, sh a pair of shoe of mine. Uh, it's actually a dressy flip-flop that I got and it broke, but I really, uh, I just cut it out of the strap, um, the bow, and I've been wanting to use it, but haven't because it's so pretty. But it also looked a little bland in the middle by itself. So um, luckily I... Um, had picked up this set of bows from Hobby Lobby. Everything was from Hobby Lobby from this particular one. Um, these that was in the similar shape of this. So I added that in the middle and uh, that actually makes it looks really nice. So by the way, with this set, you have to cut out two of the bellies and then you connect them on the on the ends to, to make it big enough. And I made it slightly bigger. I mean, you know, I didn't cut out completely. So that way when I joined it, it wasn't too um, small because I knew my um, my inside was a little bit um, puffier than normal and I wanted to land it just like right here. Okay, originally I was going to have that up here, but it just didn't look right and so I, I thought this looks much better. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. I was so happy. Um, she's picking it up tonight, so I hope that uh, my client would love it as well. Man, it, it really you know, was a struggle for me to come up with this too, because originally I was going to even have these out here. I made these already, you know, then with a more simple, a simpler uh, belly band and maybe a sim a simple silver bow or something like that. But it's just, it seems a bit too over the top. So anyway, I hope she loves it, Abigail. And um, that was the end of my first um card okay uh, if you have any questions with regards to that or or anything that i think i went a little bit fast this is the afternoon because i had spent all morning finishing up the two cards so um i am not as my normal you know self so i may have gotten certain things and if i did um uh, go please go ahead and comment I'm, I'm i'll try to be a little bit timely with my comment this time i'm in the past couple weeks i have been a little bit um not as good with my comments so I, i'm so sorry i actually eventually replied to everybody but um i didn't do it as timely as i normally have so i apologize for that okay so the second card is um my client asked for a 50th birthday card for a very close, very good friend of hers. And um, she's uh, very warm, kind. She loved Mahjong, uh, tennis, and kind of glam camping. And it was funny. I mean, my client gave me that information because I had made cards for her, custom card in the past. And I asked about, you know, what they like and stuff. But I wasn't, <sighs> I didn't really feel that, um, I mean, I felt that maybe she want me to include those items on, on the card, but I really didn't feel that a 50th birthday cards for a woman um, should contain <laughs> those those stuff that doesn't seem to be, you know, I don't know, uh, kind of strange. But anyway, I, um, so I'll, I'll show you what I did at the end. I decided to go with this um uh, hot air balloon easel card die again from Anna Griffin. I'm like so in love with Anna Griffin. I've been collecting her stuff for for years. Um, I, again, I got this about a year ago. Never even once used it. Um, so again, it took a lot longer than I expected to put these cards together because it's just you know I've never used it. So anyway, 
this is what it comes comes with um it have the the main card die the card base it has the one um the one that backed the shadow die that backed the the hot air balloon itself and then it has the pretty trim that you can you know make a, a one and layer it here and it came with this one that is the basket for here okay so that's the the whole set and it's still it's also still available on her website if you like to get it it's about 35 dollars, so it's not too too bad um but anyway i love it it cut out so nice and you'll see it in a second okay so oops put that over here so it doesn't get all weird all right so I decided, and she said um, her last name is Silva, Laura Silver, I mean Silver, so um, we have to definitely use silver. Now, usually I use gold, so <laughs> it was hard for me to do everything in silver this particular time, this particular day or week, um, but, uh, and then, you know, just maybe um, she said she didn't really know, my client didn't really know her favorite colors, but can't go, she said just, you know, complement it with some pink and blue um, after the silver. So I decided to use this paper, which looks so cute, right? It looks like little warmies. Um, this is the back, and this is from a, a card a, a cardstock set that I picked up from HSN from Anna Griffin a while back called uh, the Paisley cardstock set. It is no longer available, and this paper is also, I don't think it's available I looked for it, but I didn't see it. Um, but this paper is. Okay, so this one is double-sided, and I decided to use that for the card base. I um, really like this this thingy. And then I decided to use this for the shadow um, for my hot air balloon. So uh, that's what I did initially. And then this was gonna cut out the actual hot air balloon itself. But after I did it, um, I didn't love it. I actually uh, really wanted to back this. I mean, to put the the hot air balloon and use this as a shadow. Um, so I kind of um, and and also the base of the card, the base card, and then the next layer up was really too wide. It was. You'll see what I mean if you get it. For for me, it just seemed super wide doesn't seem so wide here but it's really wide the, the gap here between the two was really wide in comparison to the gap between um between this one and this one this was almost no you see almost no gap in it this so it looks weird it looks like it need another layer there somewhere so what i decided to do was um cut out another sheet of this, I think I did. I cut out another sheet of this to be in between the base and the shadow die. And then I had extra of this, of um, the Paisley paper, thank goodness. And I cut out, ouch, okay, never mind. Um, so what I did was, let me explain. So I cut out the actual um, hot air balloon in the matte silver, which is also Anna Griffin. The um, this one I cut out using the shadow die here, and then the um, I cut out this using the card base, okay, but only this part because I only wanted the front part. Remember the 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 card base have to be double sided to make it look nice. So I already cut it out using this, so I just wanted this front one. And remember how I did? I mentioned this before when I did the e easel card. The shadow layer doesn't lay completely onto the back side, so I didn't love that. Therefore, I always gonna cut out the front part of the um, the the card base in order to make it fit perfectly onto the back. So I cut that out single side single sided with this paper, and then I had a um, I just found a um, uh, a cardstock. It's I use this color. And I just did it by hand to um, trace a really tiny, because 
when you put this one on this one, for some reason, the, the, the color difference should have been okay, but some reason it just didn't pop. So I picked up this pink color here. That's what I was trying to do here, just to make it pop out a little bit more and also to match some of the flowers I was going to use later on. So that's what I did there. And then, so that's the, the base card that I cut out of, of this paper, okay? And then what you very easy to put together. So then I cut out the um, normally you would only need one of the this thingy here, the little you know embellishment thing here, which I cut out in a pretty glitter blue paper from uh, Park Lane, which I swear to God I said I wasn't gonna do it, but the blue was so pretty. So I did go ahead and use it now. I did glue it, glue the paper, which was here, onto um, a card, a regular cardstock. I figure maybe that's what I need to do, just like the I did with the Heidi, hi, the, this one here. It's really, very pretty. Um, yeah, I did glue it on a piece of, um, of cardstock, but it still doesn't cut out at all very well. So I actually peeled, you know, the cardstock um, cut out well so I I poked it I pull out the cardstock I peel out the the paper that's the, I guess this is what basically what it is it's a kind of like a plasterized glitter piece of paper that glue onto another piece of paper so that second piece of paper the lining actually came off too with the cardstock but this piece because it's plasterized it didn't cut well with um with my die cutting and I, I I know it's not my die cutting machine. So anyway, I just took a, you know, a, what do you call it? A, a knife and uh, um, kind of went with the line and it wasn't very hard because these are big enough to cut these out, but it was just a pain in the ass. Um, so that's for that. But again, when I put that onto the silver, it looks like it needs something more to stand out more. So I just took the extra paper I had that when I cut out these and I just use this side to cut out an extra layer of this and kind of layered like, you know, kitty quarter. So it has a little bit of a balance there. Okay. And then the flowers I use is the, um, where did I put it? Um, is the mini, there it is, is the 120 mini favorite flower, mini flowers from Anna Griffin. They, she still have this in stock, I believe. And they're smaller scale, so they works perfectly for this type of size card instead of scrapbooking, you know, flowers. And so I use a, a couple, three, one, two, three, and four onto the card. And um, the bows is also from, from Anna Griffin, the perfect bows. And she has sets that in pink and green and whatever. There's usually about three, four, five colors in each of the bow set. Um, and then and what else? Anything else here? I pop a lot of things on Pop Dot, as you can see, just to give it um, dimensions. And the, the butterfly is from an old set that um, she had called um, Birds and Butterflies, all about birds and butterflies. And I don't know if this is available anymore, um, but I'm sure there's other things that you can you can find butterflies easy. I was trying to find my Dollar Tree butterfly to try to use on here, and I, I was organizing. I have no idea where I put it. So anyway, now yeah, I have to decorate the inside. Now on the inside, I also want a place for my client to put her sentiment. She didn't want to give it to me so I can print it out. She just say, just leave a space for that. And because this is more of a circle, I cut out a four inch circle to put there for her, for her to write. And then I found this in my stash. It was an Anna Griffin uh, sentiment set, but I cannot remember uh, what the name of the set or anything. It's old. It's no longer available. I think I even bought it from eBay. And it's just, the reason I got it, originally I was even going to try to use it out here, up here, but then they cover the whole hot air balloon. But it reminded me so much of like clouds. That's why I kind of wanted it up there. But then that means that when I put it there, you see how it's actually really pretty. It's not, it, even though it stick out kind of weird, it's, it looked like it belonged there. Now it did stick out in the back where this, this backside of the, um, uh, sticker was white so I went ahead and back it with the, some leftover of this paper and that way when you turn it in the back it doesn't look bad okay 
so that's what i did there and then the easel you know is, is gonna go like this right so so pretty um then i um put the these onto pop dots again and then what i did here is i made a little envelope with the word 50th on it um that is because i'm going to tell my client what i had in mind so she can write her sentiment accordingly i decided to put the three components of the stuff that she loved in the vellum envelope i just used the the dye that i got recently from the coco and reno snail mail um uh, die set so i used that and it, it made an envelope that size is super cute i put the the tennis rackets i put the little campground sign and a little majan tile that i um these were in my stash so i just back it up with thicker paper to make sure that because it was cardstock um to to make it thicker embellishment and then this i just print from the computer and i back it up a couple times to make it thicker and um because the tennis the everything else fits fine in here but the tennis um the tennis racket was a tad long so what i did was i just sliced this i put it sideways like this and i just sliced the envelope a little bit down here so that way i can still close it like that and i didn't didn't i was gonna you know maybe uh glue it down here but i didn't like that it's not obvious so i did the flower foam tape a certain way along with this a certain way so that i can just tuck it back here and it will stay and basically i was going to you know suggest that my client say something about wishing her um that she gets to do a lot more of all her favorite things which is in here i was also thinking about doing this so i don't know what do you guys think was to include the the cake here and then put the 50 right here and um still have the envelope here or something but i don't know it it seems to me that it will uncroak into the her writing place too much but i'll ask her I'll, I'll have this available for her when she go, comes to pick it up and i'll ask her what she likes to do because i can always pull that off and put it up here and then just put like a little heart or something like that um as a little closure for the for the um vellum envelope there okay so that's oh and then the vellum envelope i had this in my stash it was i don't know where it's from or anything but it was just an old um vellum that had kind of hearts all over it i had some regular pink one but there was a small sheet that this was kind of scrap this was a full sheet but i had a small scrap sheet so i uses that to do that envelope instead of cutting into my brand new pink up vellum here okay so anyway so that's uh the story of the 50th birthday card and oh and this is the nested circle die that i used to cut out the circle for the sentiment and the circle for the um to back the rosette on the card um just just the other card okay so oh and then this um what, what else did i oh and the cake is from a set of um mini stickers called mini birthday stickers and sentiment from anna griffin okay so that's it i hope you guys find it helpful and give you some inspirations for maybe next time you need to do a bar mitzvah card or a 50th birthday card or something like that but um have a great week and i will talk to you real soon Bye for now.